Um, the DAZN curse continues. Alexander Povetkin is out. He tests positive for the Rona. Dylan White fight now off. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back. I'm back, y'all, with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to my channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang, gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, the Cash App, and the Patreon family. We working. Sign up for ESPN Plus using my link in the description of all of my videos. It does help the channel continue to grow and propel to the top. I mean, we already in the top spot, but you guys get it. ESPN Plus, they got a ton of original content, docuseries, documentaries, archive, footage, fights from the UFC, boxing. They put up the Teofimo Lomachenko fight if you want to rewatch that in all its glory and more. Get ESPN Plus as a standalone app or you can bundle it. ESPN Plus, Hulu, and Disney Plus, all three apps, one low price of $12.99. So you can bundle it or get the individual app. It does help the channel continue to grow and i appreciate y'all shout out to the super chats and the cash apps we've been going ham i'm about to get that new apple computer imac you know replace this existing one i got dollar sign boxing ego let's get it bad news strikes again for the zone i have eddie hearn's official page up man who is this eddie hearn just be putting on some <laughs> he just be making up some fights who who is that? I'm not even familiar with who this is right now. But I digress. So Eddie Hearn reports right here that Alexander Povetkin is ill. Says, unfortunately, we got news today that Alexander Povetkin is in the hospital after testing positive for the OVID. The fight will now be rescheduled to a target date of January 30th. An announcement on our November 21st show will be made shortly. Says hashtag roll with the punches. Now, first of all, Dillian White just was brutally knocked out. So I don't even know who cares. Like, you know what I'm saying? Who's like dying to see this immediately outside of maybe, I guess, the UK. But so it's actually probably better for Dillian White that he has a little bit more time because he scheduled this one 91 days. Like there's probably some type of ban when you get knocked out brutally and Eddie Hearn immediately rescheduled it. So that's actually probably better that Dillian white gets to rest a little bit longer, you know, just a little bit longer. Um, and well, actually I guess he doesn't get to rest cause Eddie Hearn wants him to still fight. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what, you know, I, this is actually confusing because this fight is November. I don't, I don't know what Eddie Hearn's doing. I, I really don't know. Because he says Dillian White versus Tyson Fury, anyone? So anyway, that should not happen. Tyson Fury needs to fight Wilder. Wilder accused him of cheating. Tyson Fury has been radio silent. Why would we want to see Dillian White, who just got brutally knocked out, in one of the knockouts of the year versus Tyson Fury. Like, I mean, come on. Like, so how, how do you get a, okay. You lose your mandatory. Th this is just foolish. You lose your mandatory slot because you get knocked out with a singular punch. You know, one of the knockouts of the year. My current one is Gervonta Tank Davis. I think that tops all because I look at the importance of the fight also. But the Pavekin one was nasty too, you know. So you lose your spot and your mandatory. How you get a title shot off a knockout because your opponent is sick? You know, that doesn't even make sense, right? At least where I'm from. I don't know about the UK. Oh, cha cha -ka bang you know, I don't know what they're doing. But where I'm from, that makes no sense. He was brutally knocked out off a loss and his opponent is sick. So he gets a title shot with Tyson Fury, who has been quiet ever since Wilder dropped and said, that he believes that Tyson Fury has done something with his glove. I don't know, man. It's looking bad for the UK. That's all I know. Um, the zone. I, I don't know what they're doing either. 
Canelo suing him, Ryan Garcia and Luke Campbell took months to actually be announced. And then when it was announced, it was immediately overshadowed by Errol Spence, Danny Garcia, which moved to that same date with crowd. And it's going to happen at Jerry's World, the Dallas Cowboys Stadium, AT&T Stadium. Now Ryan Garcia's fight is in the daytime, in the afternoon. Um, you have Dillian White Povetkin, which was one of the shows for DAZN. Again, another show canceled. Um, it's, it's just bad. Eddie was sick earlier with the Rona. His dad, you know, it's just like a nightmare. As far as DAZN, um, the American takeover is non-existent. Eddie Hearn raved for anyone who would listen. He raved about the American takeover. Said he was taking over the game and taking over the globe in America. And American promoters should be, you know, copping a squat in their pants. And, you know, he said all this foolishness. And now... Look at where they're at. Look at the status of the zone. You're charging $20 a month for Americans to view this and a fight that I don't even think was that big, but I guess needed to happen. And, and you know, cause Dillian white wants to try to avenge that. <laughs> and now it got canceled just like another zone fight. The one that I was looking forward to Javier Fortuna, Javier Fortuna versus, um, Jorge Linares, you know, I think Jaime Munguia, that was a disown fight with Toriano Johnson right when it started getting good. There was a freak accident and cut, and then, you know, Toriano Johnson's lip got cut. Chavez Jr. quit on disown. His dad was fighting at age 60 almost, and he was fighting with headgear in the exhibition. This is disown's fight calendar, like really? And then now Derek Chisora said he wants to fight Dillian White part three. I mean, who wants to see this? You know, the UK, I, I I don't know. They're, you know, they're in like no man's land at this point. So that's the latest. Povetkin's out. And that hurts the fight because even if Povetkin fights him in January, the, the Rona is serious. So who knows how long it takes to really recover from it, your lungs and stuff like that. So the fact that he got sick just hurts all the way hurts the fight because I don't know. You know, there's a lot that's unknown about the Rona, the recovery time, how long, you know, till you can get back in the gym and, and really be at your best and adequate. So I don't know. More woes for DAZN. I could see them definitely leaving, like I've been saying, leaving America. Their fights aren't panning out. Um, Cecilia Breakus got upset. Um, Julio Cesar Martinez, his fight got canceled because he was sick. You have Eddie that got sick and couldn't make appearances. You have no promotion for upcoming fights. I haven't really seen much from the Devin Haney Gamboa in for, in terms of DAZN promoting the fight. I haven't seen much from Rosado Jacobs in terms of DAZN promoting the fight. You know, it's just, it's looking weird, man. It's looking, you got fights like this. Like, you can't, how are you going to sell a Coley and Glowowki, Glowowki or whatever to Americans? You know, this is just, DAZN got to do something. Usyk didn't look good. I, I don't know what they're going to do, bro. That's my time. Let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. We working. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.